with the wrong luggage. Oh man, another brilliant event already. But we're gonna go back to school. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! I see what's happening there. Great. <laughs> This is Professor Rowan. Looks like we have another brilliant event. It's a back to Hogwarts, back to school event. And it's another two-parter. Again, we have two separate weeks, so we're going to be focusing just on week one. Week one runs from August 13th tomorrow through August 20th. If you are finding these videos helpful, please like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions or just for fun. It really does help us out. As we learned from our last two-part brilliant event, the two-part ones do run differently than the one-part events. So let's just go over how the two-part events work. The first week of a two-part event is just uh, the same as regular, as a regular event. You have um, port keys, you have rune stones, and you have specific foundables that you have to find in the wild. The second week is where things get different. In the second week, even if you're opening a port key that you picked up in the first week, it's going to give you a first week foundable. The port keys you pick up in the first week are only going to give you the rewards from the first week. The port keys you pick up from the second week will only give you the rewards from the second week. That's a little different than previously, but that's what our current um, researching wizards are telling us that it's going to do. The other item of import is that the rune stones will also, during week one and the week following week one, give you the reward for week one. The same rune stones during week two and follow the week after week two will give you the reward for week two until you have week two finished, and then it will give you possibly one of either. We don't, it after week two, once you've received all the foundable pieces that you needed, it will give you randomly one or the other. Also, like we learned last time, the first week you only have the ones in the wild that are brilliant in the wild, but the second week you will get the new event, um, the new foundables in the wild and the ones from the first week, which can help you finish up your page from the first week in your registry, but it can also make it harder to find the things you're looking for in the second week. So try to take that into consideration. And now for the details of the event. Just like before, it is a four-parter. There are some changes though, so I'm going to point them out to you as we get to them. For task one, you need to rescue two Slytherin students, pick up two port keys or ingredients off of the map, and find, return any three foundables. And the two Slytherin students will count as your three foundables, so, you know, feeding two birds with one scone. For part two, you have to rescue two Hufflepuffs, unlock three port keys, and dine at five inns, or one in five times, or some combination thereof. For part three, you have to rescue two Ravenclaws, use, use six potions, not brew six potions, use six potions, and you have to have five great spell casts. For part four, you need to rescue two Gryffindors, find five high threat foundables, and complete three fortress challenges. The high threat foundables might be a little bit more complicated because we've heard that the um, brilliant event ones will probably not be high threat. Last time though, uh, I don't know, we're gonna see. That is one thing, unfortunately, the research wizards aren't entirely certain on yet. If you notice that I listed off all four of the Hogwarts houses, that's because there are eight foundables on the first registry page for this event. Eight foundables. Besides all four houses that you have to find, you also will receive a conductor from task two, the actual Hogwarts Express from task four, the luggage trolley from the port keys and the luggage trolley witch 
from the rune stones. There is also one other major change. The port keys are only 3k instead of 7k, which is going to make part two where you have to unlock three port keys so much easier. Also, the port keys are taking you somewhere else. These 3k port keys will be taking us to the Hogwarts Express, which is important because the entire reason we're having this event is because the Hogwarts Express has been taken by the Calamity. And now, witches and wizards, there's the piece of information, the news that was I promised you in the last video and that's super important to me. I've finally been able to get everything together and my mom is going to be sending me, hopefully, maybe, a port key to go to Indianapolis on the 31st for the Harry Potter wizard event. I'm super excited that me and my life mate, if he is there when the port key activates, will be going to this event. And we have the trip there covered. The problem is while we're there, we can't use brooms, so we have to use Nomaj transportation. We have to stay in a hotel. These things cost Nomaj money and are expensive. So we are going to be opening up a GoFundMe that is open at the same time that this is. The link will be in the description below. Any help that you can help us, anything that you can do to help us be able to do this would be so appreciated. It's very important for us to be able to show the world that we are taking this calamity seriously. So witches and wizards, thank you so much. Remember, if these videos are helpful for you, the like and the subscribe mean a lot to us. And as always, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready. Thank you. You're here! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> 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 Thank you.